Yes, guys, welcome. Welcome indeed to my first ever online indoor cycling class. I hope you're feeling good. I hope this is many, one of many indoor cycling classes I get to do now with the channel. It is winter here in sunny but cold Oslo, Norway. And well, it's just, it's too cold to be outside. But inside, well, it's the perfect time to do some training, guys. Perfect time to spin them legs. We've got a great class today, I tell you. We're gonna start off with the first online class with some classics. We're gonna do intervals, so you probably saw at the beginning there, the formula. We've got a nice seven minute warm up to begin with, which we're now into. You've got all the information on the screen for you. So nice and easy, three out of 10 on that exhaustion level, on that effort level right now. And then after this seven minutes of just building up intensity, we're gonna do two three minute intervals. And then we're gonna do three two minute intervals, four one minute intervals, and then end with five 30 second intervals. So easy to follow, very motivating as it's going down in that time on each interval. But at the same time, we're gonna be increasing that intensity a little bit. So we're gonna be pushing really hard at the end. If you've not done much cycling before, it's just so, so important to remember your form. You wanna feel comfortable on the bike, so relax your shoulders. Okay, slight bend in the elbows. Light grip on the handlebars. You're not going anywhere, there's no bumps. So just feel nice and relaxed here. If you've been quite busy recently, a little bit stressed, then just take a couple of deep breaths in and let them shoulders come down. Sometimes they can be a little bit too high when we begin on the bike. All right, so we're going up to five. Five out of 10 now, pushing a little bit harder for two minutes. Seven minutes in total in this warm-up period. Remember, knees just going directly forward, so like pistons up and down, up and down. Very, very important. Keep them knees nice and straight and push down with the ball of the foot. So it's like the large bone in the foot. That's where the power is. So if you've got the bike shoes on, it's your cleats. Where your cleats are, you're pushing down there. And of course you can drag that foot back up again. All right guys, so our aim is quite simple during the warm up period. Just get the body nice and warm, start to break sweat, get the legs going. I always find the warm up the hardest part because sometimes you're just not in a mood to train or during that early part of training, kind of the mind maybe sending some signals like, well, do we really, should we be doing this? Or let's just take it easy today. We're a bit tired, making up excuses. That's normal, but you don't have to listen to that voice, okay? And then you've got the other voice in your head saying, come on, let's have a great workout. Let's push hard. It's a 40 minute class. And for me, 40 minutes is just perfect. It's not too long at the same time. It's not too short. Good 40 minute session. We're gonna burn a lot of calories, okay? We're gonna be really bringing that heart rate up high. So we're gonna be burning fat. We're gonna be increasing our cardiovascular or improving our cardiovascular system. Okay, increasing our body's ability to take in more oxygen into the lungs. And what does that mean? Well, the more oxygen we can take in, the more it can get to our muscles and our muscles can perform better allowing us to have more power more speed okay and more energy more than anything more energy is what we want all right guys so it's going to get a bit harder now let's put a go down a few in the gears we'll add more resistance if you're on an indoor spinning bike seven out of ten now so you should be really working hard this is we're at the point where we really start to break sweat. So for the next minute and 30 seconds, I want you to try to break sweat, okay? Just make sure that you've got water, guys. So, so important to keep rehydrated throughout the class. Our muscles are made up of around 62% of water, okay? So think about that while you're cycling sweating a lot you're losing muscle mass 
you're losing your ability for your muscles to perform at the highest level if you're not rehydrating. So how's it feel now? Seven, seven out of 10. So you should be breathing heavy, starting to sweat, fighting it, fight that resistance. Keep a nice steady speed. So we've got 70 to 80 on the RPMs, 70 to 80. It's gonna be very important to find consistency while you're cycling. Okay, 20 more seconds at this intensity. So I've got an RPM of 78 right now, 78. And just doing a nice amount of power, not too much, but not too little. Three, two, one. And we're just gonna take it down a little bit. So just dropping it up a few gears now, just taking it down, keeping that speed the same though. So keeping around 78 for myself on the RPMs, do you find that consistent speed between 70 to 80 for you? If you don't have any sort of data that can allow you to see your speed, then just go off my leg movements, okay? You can see on the screen right now, try to just follow that speed. How's them shoulders? Are they relaxed? Okay. Let them drop, slight bend the elbows. Feel that core engage, okay, so important. Feel the back engage. All right guys, so our three minute interval is coming up. Our three minute interval, the first one. So you should be just easing off right now, it's three out of 10, get yourself ready. We're gonna begin seated, okay? Follow the instructions on the screen. All right, here we go. First interval, straight into it. Seven to eight out of 10 max, okay? So you're not going full on power here, but we're going hard enough, that is for sure. So taking my RPMs down a little bit now, doing around 80, I'm going into the big ring. Should have, should have gone into the big ring at the beginning, but I'm now there. 65 to 75 with the RPMs now. So I've dropped it down. Fight it. Notice your body right now. Notice the intensity level of it. Notice that heart rate's gone up. Starting to sweat quite heavy now. Okay, two minutes, or just under two minutes. So maintain your power, maintain your speed, find that consistency. Coming up to the halfway point, 90 seconds to go. How are you feeling right now in this first interval? It's always the hardest, the first interval. Accepting that you're gonna be working at this intensity level. There's always gonna be some resistance from the mind and the body. Ignore it, push through it. Once you're into it, once you're in the zone, there's no better feeling. But there's no easy way to get into the zone. You just gotta fight through that resistance. Fifty seconds, guys. Fifty seconds. Forty. Notice how your body feels now. Comes to the end of the first interval. We'll have a nice little break after this, okay? You see on the screen what's coming up. 
We're gonna do 30 seconds with nice easy one out of 10 and then a minute is three out of 10. So 90 seconds in total is your break. We're not there yet. 10 seconds, come on. Bite through it. Four, three, two, one. Good work. All right. Ease off. Ease off. Rehydrate. All right. So nice and easy one out of ten. But we don't want to stay here for too long. We want to keep that body temperature warm. We want to keep the intensity in our mind and our body. So we're going up to three. Back to three out of ten, okay? Okay. So, second interval coming up. Same again, three minutes. We'll do a little bit of standing in this one, okay? So if you feel your bum's a little bit sore right now, just stand up and shake it off a little bit. We'll do a few standing in that second interval. And as I mentioned before, it's very moti motivating to know that after this one, intervals are getting shorter, all the way down to 30 seconds. So use that to motivate you. You're nearly done with that first stage, first block. All right, guys, you know what to do. Three, two, one. Let's drop it down a few gears. I'm in the big ring. Power now. 65 to 75 RPM. So feel like I'm climbing a little bit. Remember, don't go too hard. We're going to be going a lot harder as we progress in the class. So stay around that seven, seven and a half max, eight out of ten. You're doing great. Keep them shoulders relaxed. Feel the core working hard right now. Feel that back engaged. We're gonna stand guys for the first time, going up in three, two. One, drop it down a few gears, up we come. Power on hard, make sure you've got enough resistance on. On that stable body, don't be bobbing up and down, swaying, okay? Keep your body stable as you push down hard. Bite it. A few more seconds, we're gonna take a seat. Three, two, one, down. Down we go. All right, coming up to the halfway point. How you doing? <sighs> Sweating, breathing heavy, still slightly in control. That's where I want you to be. Can you believe it? We've nearly done two minutes, guys. We've nearly done two minutes. It's not gonna get any easier, though. Feel my legs right now. They're saying, hey, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Shut them up. Come on. All right, guys. Gonna stand one more time. We're gonna remain standing till the end. Three, two, one, off we come. Drop it down a few gears. Enough resistance so you're stable on the bike. Push down hard. Feel that core engaged. 20 seconds. So I got my bum just above the front of the seat, so keep the back nice and straight. Good position to be in. Strong, solid, good form. Five seconds, we're nearly there. 
four, three, two, one. Woo. Good work. Yes. All right, same again. We've got 90 seconds of recovery. First 30 seconds. Easy peasy. One out of 10. As if you're going for a stroll in the park. Keep me hydrating. All right. Three. Three out of ten. Just gone down a gear. Still nice and comfortable. Reason why is we don't want to ease off too much because this is what I consider active recoveries. Not breaks, but active recoveries. That's a better term. So you should always be keeping some form of intensity on, keeping that body warm, keeping the momentum going. So, so important. Okay. Well, we've got a nice 90 seconds of recovery. We've only got 20 seconds left now. We're going to the two minute intervals, which means we're going to increase that intensity. You ready? So eight, eight and a half out of 10, a little bit harder. Just two minutes. Seated to begin with, 70 to 80 on them RPMs. So a little bit faster, three, two, one. You know what to do guys. Get into position, I'm gonna go onto my drop handles here. Just get into a nice position. If you've got a strong back, feel your back secure, and you've got the drop options, go ahead and join me. Feel you have any sort of lower back pain at times, or if the back feels a bit too stiff, just stay at the top, okay? Do what's best for your back. I feel I've got a little bit more power when I'm in the drops. That's how I feel. It's all about feeling. Feel good, and you will do good. So I'm doing 72 on the RPMs right now, so I'm just gonna keep that now consistent for the last 80 seconds. My power output, which is measured in watts on my screen here, keeping it really consistent, it's nice and high and consistent. So having these tools is a nice way to maintain your intensity. But if you haven't got them, don't worry. Just go on feeling, keep asking yourself, how are you feeling? Are you out of your comfort zone? Are you feeling eight out of 10? We're nearly there. 40 seconds. Last 30 guys, hold strong. No easy enough. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Fight it. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ease off. All right, we've got one minute recovery. One minute recovery. Two out of ten. So not a walk in the park, but pretty easy. So three intervals done. How's the body feeling right now? Are you rehydrated? How's the back? Feels a little bit stiff, just open up the body a little bit. Open it up, okay. It's normal at times, the back to be a little bit stiff. When you're on a bike. All right, 10 seconds guys. We're going again. You know what to do. I'm with you all the way. Three, two, one. Down we go, big ring is on. Let's push hard. So get them RPMs between 70 and 80. 
fighter. So we're going to stand in this one, okay? So if you feel your bums a little bit, getting a little bit numb, having sat down for a bit, just give me another 30 seconds and we'll stand, okay? Fight for it. Use the music to motivate you. Going up in 15. Make sure you have enough resistance as we stand. Keep them hips back as we come up. Three, two, one. Off we come. Come here. One minute. We're going to remain standing for one minute, okay? Don't worry too much if you can't get up to 70 on the RPMs. Don't worry about that. Focus on your power now as you're standing. Maintaining eight, eight and a half out of ten. Breathing extremely hard. Sweating a lot. Really fighting it now. You know you've only got a small amount of energy to push harder. We've got 20 seconds standing. Feel it in my legs. And I'm not going down. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, good work, guys. Two out of ten. Last two minute interval, can you believe it? Flying through the class. This is now interval number five. And we know what happens after this. Short and sweet baby, short and sweet intervals coming up. And I like about this sort of formula going down, obviously it's motivating, but also really getting my legs in perfect condition to go extremely hard in them short intervals. But before then, two minutes, begin seated. Let's go guys. You know what to do, two minutes. Fight it. Remember, if you think you're struggling right now, if you're finding in this, this difficult, so is everyone else. So am I. I've been cycling for years. Been an instructor, a cycling instructor, for many, many years. And every time I get on the bike, I struggle. It never gets any easier. You just get better. And as you get better, the more intensity you naturally push onto them pedals. The more power you have. All right, we're coming up to the one minute mark. Are you ready to stand for the last 30 seconds? That's where I want you to be. Keep them relaxed. Feel that core. Feel that back. Engaged. Feel the strength in your legs. All right, guys. We're going up in three, two, one. Up we come. Last 30 seconds now. Standing. That's right, I'm going. Down in them gears. Giving me enough resistance to really fight it. Fifteen seconds. You can hold on, I know you can. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. 
How you feeling? All right, down to two out of 10. So I hope you got a fan. Fan always helps, okay? It's gonna keep that body temperature regulated a little better. I don't have a fan, but I do have this incredible air conditioning unit. It's called the Norwegian Winter. All I have to do is open the window and I get a blast of, right now, minus seven, minus seven. So that keeps you spinning, trust me. It gets cold very quickly. All right, but a towel and a fan are ideal. So if you join us for the next class and you don't have a fan right now, see if you can get one, borrow one off someone. Whew. All right, guys, we're going to one minute, one minute intervals. You know what to do. Nine out of 10, full power. Come on, it's just one minute. Sit into it now, okay? Go into the drops if you've got them, or lean onto your handlebars if you feel secure with the back. If not, stay here, really fight it. We've only got 40 seconds to go. How motivating is that? Short and sweet, baby. Power is on. Twenty-five seconds. You've got this. I know you are. Show me your pain face. Show me your pain face. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. Just 30 seconds recovery. I didn't tell you about that one, but as the intervals get shorter, so do the breaks, okay? I thought I would keep that one till now. But you expected that, didn't you? You knew I wasn't gonna go easy on you. All right, guys, we're going again. This is number two out of four on the one minute intervals. Three, two, one, nine out of 10. Let's go, power on. Come on, you've done the hard work in the class. All them long intervals are done. It's all about willpower now. Mind over body, mind over body. Tell your legs to move, tell them to go at high intensity and they will. Thirty small seconds. Come on. Legs like pistons. Okay, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One, he's up. Oh. Okay. Rehydrate if you haven't already. We're really kicking in the metabolism now. Burning calories, burning fat. Let's keep this up together, guys. Going again, number three out of four in the one minute intervals, go. Come on, power on, back into it. Just sit into it, okay? Autopilot, body's on autopilot. Just 35 seconds. Nearly there. 30. Come on. Twenty seconds. Last ten coming up. 
Legs on fire, legs on fire. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, good work. Good work, guys. Oh, how you doing? Okay. I'm feeling it. That is for sure. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Last one minute interval. Full power, come on. Fight through this. We've got this together, we've got this together. We're gonna stand for the last 30 seconds. Okay, last 30 seconds standing. Going up in five. Four, three, two, one. Off we come. Come on, power down hard. Keep that speed if you can. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten guys. You know what to do. Just keep that power on. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good work. I'm gonna give you 90 seconds of recovery now, okay? Before the final stage. Keep them legs spinning, keep them spinning. Don't stop. All right, so got one minute left of the break, we, or what I call, or as I call it, active recovery. Let's not call it break. Active recovery, one minute left. Three out of 10, just spin away. Keep that heart rate at a reasonable level. Don't let it drop too much. Keep the body temperature nice and warm. Okay, so five, 30 seconds on, and then we're gonna have 30 seconds off, okay? 30 on, 30 off times five. And with that long break period, okay, that's gonna give you time to recover and then go really hard. So it's gonna be nine out of 10 for the first three 30 second blocks. And then the last two, we're gonna go to 10 out of 10. Everything you got left in the legs, okay? And then I promise we're done. Just a nice cool down at the end. All right, guys, I can't do this on my own. I need your support. I need your energy. Let's do this together. Three, two, one. Nine out of ten. Okay? Look at them RPMs, okay? Look at them RP RPMs. Get that power up. Get that speed up. Come on. It's just 30 seconds. Nine out of ten, maybe even nine and a half. If you want to go there, three, two, one, breathe, recover. Okay, second interval, we're going to stand. Okay, standing on the second interval. Don't worry too much if you can't get them RPMs up to the required number. Just keep your intensity, keep the power. One down, four to go. And we're done with our hard work today. Five, four, three, two, one. Up, we come. Up, up, up. Come on. Coming up to the last 10 seconds. You've got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Three to go, guys, three to go. Seated on the next one, okay? Seated. 
You okay? I know you are. Okay. Don't listen to them voices in your head. Okay. Time to ease off now. Time to take it easy. Find the other voice. Okay. You know what it's going to say. Come on. Let's go. Let's go full. Full on. Three, two, one. Go. Come on. Number three out of five. All we've got is one minute and 20 seconds of working hard left, guys. That's it. You've got it in the legs. You've got it in the lungs. You've got it in the whole body. But most importantly, you've got it in the mind. It's there. Just find it. Find that voice. Come on. Three, two, one. All right. Rehydrate. Ten out of ten. Everything you got. We're gonna stand on this one, okay? We're gonna stand. Ten out of ten. Full power. Three, two, one. Up! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Power on! Power on! You've got this! 10 seconds! Five, four, three, two, one. That was 10 out of 10. Keep spinning. Keep spinning. Okay. Last 30 seconds coming up. I know you're tired. But we're together. Are going to go full speed? Okay. Full power. Full everything you got. Seated. Everything you got. Take them RPMs above 90 if you want to. Above 100 if you want to. Three, two, one. Go! Come on! This is it. 20 seconds. Everything. Just let it out. Don't think about it. Just let that energy out. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Once you've recovered, get your RPMs back up to about 80 to 90 if you can. If not, 70 to 80, lowest 70. Just spin away now, dropping it into the low ring, okay? Just spin away. Let's flush out that lactic acid in the legs. All right. And we're going to do the cool down. My friend Norway, okay, is going to uh, do the cool down for you guys. So I'm just going to wish you a great day. Thanks for joining me. We're going to try to be producing one of these each week, so don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the class, and of course, comment. Let me know your thoughts. Until we meet again, hard bra. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be a liar. I just can't quicken that cause I love